All right, let's hear it, Tampa Bay. The hottest city in America. It makes you absolutely world class. A national map of sustainable communities. It all starts in Tampa. This is the stuff that makes Tampa the place you want to live. For the win. Good evening. My name is Brian Willis. I'm here with Connect Tampa Bay. And when I talk about, I'm an advocate for better transportation in the region. And when I talk about transportation, you all are advocates. When I talk about transportation, I always get asked what technology is best. But first, let's talk about the problem we have. We move less people, the transportation network we have doesn't reach a lot of our employers, and we lose the second most people. And when I say that we lose them, I mean we kill them. We kill a lot of people on bikes, we kill a lot of people on pedestrians, we kill a lot of people on cars. It's a problem. It's the most basic flaw of our transportation system if it doesn't get you safely where you need to go. So what's the solution? Is it a technological solution? Is it rail versus bus versus something else? Google cars, monorails? That's what I always get asked. I always get asked, what's the technology to save this system? But the best systems in the world, the best systems in others comparable cities like Charlotte and Phoenix and Denver, they use all options. So when people say, well, technology has changed, rail's an old technology, so are roads, so is the wheel. We still use them. And it goes back to that point that the best systems in the world use all options. So we don't need to choose. We don't need to say, well, I want to wait for my flying car. I want to wait for my self-driving Google car. We need to build a system that gives people options and not get in a fight about technology. So the problem with that discussion about technology is that there's no winning. You can't win a fight about whether Android's better than uh, your iPhone or whether Xbox is better than PlayStation. It's a silly discussion. The market bears both options and we need to do the same with our transportation system. And we need to connect everyone. And when I say our name, you know, the name of the group that I started is called Connect Tampa Bay. And it's not just about connecting people in the transportation sense, it's about connecting with you all and connecting people to this movement to build a better transportation system. And so we say, okay, the solution is we need to do all the above. But what's the fastest way to actually go about connecting people? What's that technology that's, that's the fastest, best way that we can implement it quickest? Money. <laughs> Some people say governments are poor, governments are going broke. But you know what, right now we're spending $400 million to build a project called the Crosstown Connector. It's one mile of road for $400 million. And we're spending $100 million a mile to widen I-275. And the fact is that's not paid for by gas taxes or other user fees. When you break it down, the actual collection from the fare box beats what people pay in user fees for, for roads. So we need to find dollars. But ultimately, we can't keep waiting and waiting and waiting for other people to do it. It's the same message that you guys are delivering about the technology community. I feel like I'm echoing Joy, who was just up here, and saying we need to get involved, we need to lead. We do need to lead, because if we wait, we're going to keep spending $400 million on road projects. Ideas like transportation, like small businesses, have to grow. They have to be seeded, planted. We have to get a people-driven movement to get out there and actually advocate for transportation. You saw Mark Sharp was up here earlier today. If every other commissioner that had decisions over how our dollars were spent thought like him, we would have this problem solved, but we don't. And so ultimately, it's a political question. We need to connect people to solve a political problem. That's the technology that's here, is people. When people like you show up, that's how things are going to change. You all, some of us, paid to be here tonight to see this, and it's great. It's a great program. But if half of you guys came out to a county commission meeting about transportation, we would have transportation options. And I don't care about Tampa, St. Petersburg. I live in both. I live in Tampa. My wife works in Pinellas. I used to work in Clearwater. It, it, the bridges don't matter to me. You know, we have to have a system that gets us where we need to go. The only people I know that care about the lines on a map are the people in elected office. You already saw this today. This is a great project from the airport. Nobody gets on the people mover at the airport and says, wow, this rail that's getting me out to my terminal should really be a bus. It just works. And so if we do that, we focus not on having a fight about technology. We focus on solutions, about bringing people together. That's when we're really going to accomplish something. And I think we can go far, and who knows how far we can go with our successes. So, I love this picture, because this is what Tampa Bay looks like. It's not Hillsborough Pinellas, it's not Tampa St. Pete, 
It's one region, it's the region we live in. And we have to connect Tampa Bay, we have to connect us and the people in Tampa Bay to solve our transportation problems. So I thank you, you can follow me, Brian Willis Tampa on Twitter. Sign up at Connect Tampa Bay, give us your email address, and we'll take you